What's up YouTube, Silver Dragons here, and this video is on the Mercury Dimes. These are really cool silver dimes made by the United States Mint, uh, but the weird thing about them is they're actually not Mercury Dimes. So, <laughs> we're going to talk about that. Alright, let's do it. Thank you so much for watching my video. I do sincerely appreciate it. If you want to learn more about investing in precious metals, or if you just want to watch awesome videos about gold and silver, then make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. All right, so we're going to talk about the beautiful Mercury Dimes uh, and why they're actually not Mercury Dimes. So actually recently uh, got this little batch here. I'm going to add it to my collection of Mercury Dimes. See if I can pull some out. Just show you i got a big old bag of them here see a bunch of mercury dimes uh, i think i got about 90 dollars face in mercs so doing pretty well on my mercury dime collection uh, but let's get to why they're not mercury dimes um, so the reason these are actually not mercury dimes is because they're called the winged liberty head dimes that's right winged liberty head <laughs> pretty interesting uh, but the person who actually designed these, Adolf Weinman, uh, he named them the Winged Liberty Head Dimes. Now the thing is, uh, this is supposed to be Lady Liberty here on the obverse. You can see she's got the wings on her little cap there. Uh, but people thought this actually looked like the Roman god Mercury. So people called them Mercury Dimes. Even though that's not what the original name was, that was not the intent of of the design well that's what people call them and it has stuck so these actually uh, were first minted in 1916 uh, and they made them all the way up until 1945 uh, now the rarest one of all the mercury dimes I haven't looked through these yet so I actually don't know what all the dates are uh, but the rarest one is a 1916 with a D mint mark so if you can find a 1916 D uh, it's worth quite a bit of money. At the bottom there, you can see this is like 1941 or something like that. So we need an older one. Would it, wouldn't it be cool if I just randomly picked one up and it was a 1916D? That would really change the whole video. Here's one from the 30s. <laughs> That's kind of cool. All right, so I'll give you a look at the reverse here. Absolutely gorgeous. It does say United States of America, one dime, E pluribus unum there. <laughs> I'm sure I said that wrong. Uh, but the mint mark is at the very bottom there, so you can see this one's actually a, a D. It's on the left. Uh, the other mint marks that you could have would be the S mint mark for San Francisco mint, or you could have no mint mark, which would be the Philadelphia mint. Um, so these are 90% silver, uh, and they're 10% copper, so they're junk silver. And uh, the other thing about Mercury Dimes, too, is they're usually a little bit more worn down than the Roosevelt Dimes. So as junk silver is concerned, uh, they're actually probably have a little bit less silver in them, uh, but that's okay. They're still beautiful. These are nice because they're so obviously silver dimes. The Roosevelt dimes that came after uh, were made out of silver, and then in 1965, they started making them out of clad, and they're still being made today. Uh, so the Roosevelt dimes, some of them are silver, some of them are not. The Mercury dimes, every single one is silver. Um, so how much silver is in a mercury dime? Well, each one contains 1 14th of a troy ounce of silver. So if you wanted to make an ounce of silver, you would simply take 14 mercury dimes and then you'd have an ounce. Um, now, like I said, they are a little bit worn down and so it might be slightly under an ounce. These were jingling around in people's pockets for at least 75 years. So yeah, there's going to be some wear on them. Uh, usually it's around the rim uh, let's see if we can find one that's a little worn down this one's a little bit worn down uh, this one's from the 20s there you go but you can see how on the right side there it's pretty worn down so this definitely would weigh less than uh, a Roosevelt dime uh, but you know what it's still valued at a 14th of an ounce of silver uh, so they're absolutely gorgeous I think they're cool I love picking them up I love how recognizable they are I love that they're very trusted. Mercury dimes are essentially never faked, so you'd never find a fake Mercury dime unless, of course, it was the 1916D. There is some money to be made on those, so I know that fakes do exist, 
Um, also, it's interesting to note that the 1917D is kind of rare as well. Not nearly as rare, uh, but it is a rarer one of the Mercury Dimes. So if you find a 16D or a 17D, uh, they're both really cool finds. So I would suggest if you have a bunch of Mercury Dimes like I do, uh, go through them. Uh, look at all the dates and see if you can find that rare one because it is worth a considerable amount of money depending on the condition. If it's in really good condition, you could be looking at uh, four figures. Uh, it's unlikely you'd be finding one that nice, uh, but if it's in you know mediocre condition, at least three figures. So, hundred bucks for a uh, pretty good one. So, uh, anyway, that is the Winged Liberty Head Dimes, not Mercury Dimes. Very interesting. And the last thing I'll mention is that the person that designed these. Adolf Weinman, he actually also designed the Walking Liberty Half Dollars. They look like this, absolutely gorgeous. So he was a great designer. And then uh, this design here made it onto the American Silver Eagles. I think I got one right here. So his design was the Mercury Dime and then the Walking Liberties. And then this same design made it onto the American Silver Eagles. So uh, quite a famous designer as far as U.S. coins go. Super cool. Uh, if you have any questions about the Mercury Dimes or if there's anything I forgot to mention about them, feel free to leave a comment down below. I'd love to say a massive thank you so much for watching my video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Silver Dragons, out.